giving all praise and honor and glory to the most high Yahweh. But Shiva Mashiach from Allah Yahweh Shai. We are watching for Israel Seattle coming to wake up our people, the real Jews, man, the real Israelites, God chosen people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Right? You see a huge turmoil throughout the entire earth. Due to the fact, man, that a lot of our people are starting to wake up. You know what I'm saying? Because the most high is putting the spirit on a lot of these celebrities. But look, the Lord has been told you guys, man. Right? The men of the Lord been out here on the highways and hedges, man. Right? You got a problem? We come out here every Friday. Are you the police? No. no We're not selling nothing. No, I'm not turning nothing down, man. You see how our enemies do, right? You can have people that can come over here and smoke crap, you know what I'm saying, openly, right? But you want to come over here and come and bother us, man. We're not worried about Esau, man, right? Matter of fact, man, give me Revelation 13, 9 and 10, man, right? Get his damn, his damn judgment, man. Bring it out. Revelation chapter 13, verse 9 and 10, right? Bring it out. Prophets, the prophets, man, wasn't scared, bro, right? The men of the Lord wasn't no punks, man, right? And we're not about to be punked up here. Bring it out. Revelation chapter 13. Verse 9. Bring it out. If Whoa. any man have an ear, uh -huh. let him hear. All right, since you want to be so interested in what we're doing, why don't you hear this? He that leadeth into captivity. Right. The so-called white man in the Caucasian race has read the children of Israel in captivity. They're known as the Edomites according to the Bible. He that leadeth into captivity, what did Christ say? Shall go into captivity. What's going to happen? Shall go into captivity. What's going to happen in the Lord's kingdom? Shall go into captivity. Go he that killeth with the sword must, must be killed, killed with the sword. And with that, man, let's just get back to, you know, dealing with our people, man. Right? We're not out here for these other nations, man. It's these other nations that want to come and bother us. We actually out here to bring our people back to deliverance, man. Right? Back to actually being a holy person, which means separate, man. We don't want our people strung out on drugs. We don't want our people gangbanging out here, man. We are here to actually give a positive message, but yet Esau, just like the devil the Bible speaks of, can't stand it, man. Right? If he was out here selling CDs, right, selling dope, he wouldn't be bothering us, right? And I'm going to say he with that deep ass voice, right? Right? Trying to masquerade like a female. That's another reason why this place, America, is going to get destroyed with ICBM missiles, man. That's, That's right! Right? Give me Job 9 and 24. Let me get the book of Job 9 and 24, man. Right? Let's do this thing. Yeah, Job 9 and 24. Talk about keeping down. Bring this up. Job chapter 9, verse 24. Bring Bring it out. Out. The earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. What did the Lord say? The, the earth, earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Hey, the most high God gave this entire God. earth into the hands of the wicked. We know that the right. wicked is dealing with these other nations, chiefly dealing with Esau, right? right? They're not Israelites, man. So guess what? As so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we have to understand that our true reparations is going to come from the Most High Yahweh, man, right. in his time, right? We can't be sitting here looking, right, to seek uh, help from these other nations that done right. nothing but rape, rob, and enslave and murder our people, man. Right? We got to be looking towards our Father, our God, right? The God of the Israelites, man, right? Whose name is Yahweh. But I shimmer myself from like y'all inside, right? He covered the faces of the judges. Uh, right, what did Michelangelo do, man, in the 1400s in the Renaissance? Right, by covering the faces of Christ? What? Therefore, if not, where and who is, is he? he? Right, if not, where and who is he, man? Right. And we are here to debunk these lies, to teach our people, right, who Christ really is about, man. We are here to teach our people who the Most High God really is about. Right, let me get Exodus 15 and 3 real quick, Bring right? it out. Because this is the problem with our people. Our people think that the Most High God, according to the Bible, is some type of soft God, man. Right? right. No, we're not dealing with the soft God, man. Hey, the Most High, man, is a man. And you're going to find out what type of man he is. Let me get Exodus 15 and 3. Exodus chapter 15, verse 3. Bring it out. Yahweh is a man of war. No, the Most High God is just a spirit. Yahweh is a man, a man of war. war. Right, the Most High God who created everything is a man of war. Right, read. Yahweh is his name. Right, and Yahweh is his name, which means he exists. 
right? Because he's the one that exists. He's the one that creates everything. He is who he is. And there's nothing that these other nations can do about it, man. These are things that we have to realize. Let me get the book of uh, Micah, chapter 2. It's already verse 10, man. Right? Let's deal with this thing, man. Matter of fact, real quick, give me Isaiah, the classic, chapter 58, verse 3. So that we can let our people know why we're not going to keep our voice down. Because the Lord instructed us to come out here to the highways and heavens, man, and lift up a holy noise, man. Right? These are things we got to realize. Isaiah 58 and 3. Isaiah, chapter 58. Verse 3, yeah. wherefore have we fasted? Matter of fact, 58 and 1, select. Isaiah 58 and verse 1, cry out loud. No, we're going to be quiet because they told us to be quiet. Cry, cry out, out loud. loud. Hey, the Lord said we got to come out here and cry out loud. Read. Spare not. And we definitely not sparing nobody's feelings out here, man. Right? Us sparing each other's feelings is the reason why us as a nation as so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are at the bottom, man. It's time for us to stand up, right? And first stand up against workers of iniquity. So we're not sparing nobody's feelings, read. Lift up my voice like a trumpet. No, sit there and turn the microphone down because people don't want to hear this word. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, read. And show my people they're transgressing. And that's the whole reason why we got to make sure that this is turned up. So that our people, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the Israelites the Bible speaks of, man, understands where we have transgressed God's laws. Why that we are at the bottom, man? Why that we have knees to put on our necks, man? Right? Why is it that we can't sit there and, right, and get approved for a loan, right, for a house, right, as a so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native American, and you literally have the same credit score as your enemies, man? We got to realize that the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. According to Malachi chapter 1, verse 3, that wicked is dealing with Esau, man. Right? Everybody has a biblical nationality, right? right. I'm not the color of this brother's sweatshirt, right? So how is black a nationality, man? How is African-American a nationality when America was named after an Italian map maker, Americo Vespucci, man? Right. right. When Africa was named, right, after Leo Scipio Africanus, who conquered Hannibal in the Punic Wars. Right? We're out here to bump these lives. No, we are Israelites, the Bible speaks up. And you're going to have to deal with the fact that the Most High has woken us up in these last days. And we ain't no longer, we ain't no longer taking these lives, man. Thus said the Lord, man. Right? Let me get Micah chapter 2, man. Right? Starting verse 10. Because our people have to realize, man, right, that our place of rest is on its way. Our place of rest is not right now, y'all. Our people are still going to end up strung out of drugs. Our people are going to still end up, you know what I'm saying? How you doing? You Hispanic? Hey, brother, you Hispanic? And you're an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar, God chose the people. We love you, man. And love is keeping the commandments, man. Thus said the Lord, man. Right? See, the Ethiopians can come out here, right, with a huge speaker and don't nobody bother them. Right. But it's something about the Israelites, right, the true people of God, when they come out here and they speak positivity, right, which is for our nation, they have a problem with it, man. That's right. right. This is how you know that the scriptures are true because Christ prophesied of these things, that you should be hated by all men for his name's sake. Bring it out. Right. Mike, chapter 2, verse 10. Bring it out. Arise ye uh -huh. and depart. Right, we gotta arise and depart. Right, from the spiritual mindset that's on the left-hand side of wickedness, dealing with America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great, a.k.a. spiritual Sodom and Egypt, according to a revelation 11 and 8. Read. For this is not your breath. Because America is not on rest for so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. Right? This whole land has been defiled with blood. How is this place our rest, man? When we have our enemies literally walking on the bones, right, of our ancestors, our forefathers and our foremothers, man. Read. Because it is polluted. Because what? Because it is polluted. And when you look around at this entire land, hey, it's polluted, man. These are things that we have to realize, man. Whether our people here or forbear, right, we still got to come out here and teach this word, man. Every single Shabbat, man, right, we're going to come out here in season and out of season, whether it's cold, whether it's rainy, whether it's snowy, man, read. Right? That's right. It shall destroy you. Right, and it shall destroy you. Right, when you want to put all your hopes into this wicked land that's been polluted by bloodshed, man, you're going to end up being destroyed. Let me get Ecclesiastes, man, 7 and 7, man. Bring that out. people are destroyed, because they sit there looking for gifts, man. They looking for handouts, man. And when you get a handout as a so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native American, you end up losing your ways thinking that you already made it. Thinking that, that this is your heaven, that this is your place of rest, man. Bring this up. Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 7. Go! Surely, uh -huh. oppression makes a wise man mad. And we have 
been oppressed from generation after generation after generation. Right. And the Lord says that oppression will make a wise man mad. So if you are actually wise, then you are upset by looking at the conditions of our people out here, man. Right. Right. Our brother should not have to sit there and work on the Lord's day, man, on the Shabbat. Lord willing, when we get this kingdom, this is only going to have people working for him, right? And he's going to own uh, a, a, a lot of land, man, right? And have servants, man. Read. And a guilt destroy the heart. And again, destroy the heart, man. Right? That's why a lot of the people dealing with the NBA right now, they don't want to sit there and sign with their own brother, Kyrie Irving, man. Right. Right? See, Kyrie Irving understands, man, right, at a lower level, right, that a gift destroys the heart. And he's willing to give it all up. Hey, same thing with Kanye West. He's willing to give it all up. Even us as men of the Lord, hey, we're willing to give it all up. Don't think that we don't have jobs. Don't think that we don't have families. Don't think that we didn't have things that we actually did before we learned who we truly were, man. Right? And we gave all these things up because we understood that a gift would destroy the heart. Right? When they had us EBT, when they had us Section 8, when they had us low income, man. Right? When they sit there and promise us 40 acres and a mule, and we haven't even got a damn acre yet, man. These are things we got to realize. That's it, the Lord, man. Right? Read that again. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 7. Bring it up. Surely! Oppression maketh a wise man mad, uh -huh. and a gift destroyeth the heart. And a gift destroyeth the heart. See, these are scriptures that you're not going to hear in the Christianity church, uh, right? Because the Most High is not dealing with Christianity when that word Christianity is not even in the Bible, man. And the Most High is not dealing with these builders, man, with Frank Low Dollar, TD Snakes, right? All these wicked pastors of our own stock who have been lying to us. How you doing, King? How you doing? Hey, man, you and Israel have to follow the speech of it, bro. I got one scripture before you leave, bro. Just before you leave, real quick, man. Right, let me get the book, man. Right, of Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. I want to show you how the Most High actually feels about you, man. Right? Have you heard that the so-called blacks, I say so-called, right, because it's not a nationality, but the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, have you heard that they're the Israelites, according to the Bible? Yeah, I've heard it. All praise to the Most High. So this is how the Most High God feels about you, King. What's your name? A Angelo? Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. My name is Brother Zambron. Bring this up, King. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Bring it up. For thou art in holy people. See, Angelo, the Most High God says that you are in holy people. Hey, the word holy means separate, man. Because when you're dealing with etymology, right, on the Old Testament, it's written in Hebrew. Then when you're dealing in the New Testament, that's written in Greek. So to truly understand the words that are in the Bible, you have to get it out of the Hebrew, right? And the word holy goes back to being separate. Hey, we are separate people that so-called Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We're different than everybody else. Read. Unto Yahweh, right? Yahweh had chosen thee. And Yahweh is the Most High God's name. See, because the Most High God says that as so-called Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, according to Psalms 82 and 6, John 10 and 34, that we are God's. Because the word God just means Allahayim in Hebrew, which means power. And we're trying to get our people to tap back into the true power by keeping the commandments. We're almost done. Oh, what's your question? No, go on. Okay, go ahead. To be a special people uh -huh. unto himself. Right, you're special to the Most High God himself. That's very possessive. That's right, right brother. Like, you're not going to sit there and go some special LeBrons. You're not just going to let anybody just step on your shoes. You're not going to take your LeBrons and go throw it in the rainwater, man. Right? No, you got to make sure that you take care of your clothes because they're special to you. Right, and that's how the Most High God feels about us because we're his children. We're special to him, Reed. Above all people. No, we're all the same with everybody. Above all, all people. people. Uh -huh. They're upon the face of the earth. So as you leave here today, understand that the Most High God created you, Angelo. Right, is that your wife? Yeah. Right, so this is a beautiful thing. Right, this is a beautiful Israelite couple. You guys are Israelites. Is your father so called black man? When you know as the African American, so you are who you are through your fathers. So that means that you are an Israelite brother from the tribe of Judah, which is the same tribe as Christ. You literally have Christ's blood running through your system, right? And you are above all people on the face of the earth. Once you decide to come back to who you truly are and keep the commandments as best as you possibly can. That's right. right? To your own people, because this Bible is only for us, man. Right? And the Most High God, the Creator of everything, is the God of the Israelites, man. You got your phone before you leave, real quick. Hey man, we got a QR code right here. If you just go to your camera, brother, and you aim your camera on this QR code, 
You don't even have to take a picture, just aim it on it. Something should pop up, right, to where it'll take you directly to our YouTube channel. That way, you and your wife can sit back and drink some wine. I'm aware already. You aware already? I'm aware. But there's more stuff that we touch too on that page too as well, man. Right, we go into deeper subjects. So if you're already aware of who you are, right, check that out. That way you can scroll and be like, okay, well I haven't heard about this. Let me see what the most I got is saying about this. Because don't listen to me, bro. Uh-huh. Uh, Ryan, you got Harvey's ministry. You said what? Harbinger, Harbinger, Minute, Uh, I haven't heard of that. Where are they from? Oh, Atlanta. Atlanta, all places, bro. We got, we got brothers in Atlanta and W5 as well. Right? In London, New York, you know, all over the place, man. Right? So, I'm going to look y'all, brother. All right, man. We love I, you. I mean, man. I'm not from here. I'm, 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 I'm not from here either, gang. I'm from Oakland, man. Oh, yeah. I understand. You know what I'm saying? We scattered on all four corners of the earth, man. I'm going to look you up. All right, all right, family. We love you, brother. All right, all praise the most high. That's what we out here to do, man. Right now, is that harmful, man? Right, does that require people coming to bother us, man? Right, when we out here to give our people the truth? No. Uh -huh. No, you see what I'm saying? That's why we got to understand that the Lord has his angels to protect us, man. Those that keep the commandments, man. Right, we not your average so-called nigga man, man. Real talk, man. We out here to return back to who we truly are as kings being men, right? Our women returning back to being princesses as they were made to be, man. Thus said the Lord. These are things you got to realize, man, right? Let me get the book of Ezekiel, man, chapter 28, man. Right, let's deal with this thing. Because we got to understand that a judgment is coming upon this place. And we're here to warn our people, man, right? Let me get the book of Ezekiel, chapter 28, right? Let's start from the top, man. Ezekiel, chapter 28, verse 1. Bring it out. The word of Yahweh came again unto me, uh -huh. saying, mm -hmm. Son of man. Son of man, read. Say unto the prince of Tyrus. Unto the prince of Tyrus. Understand that this goes back to the Edomites, man. So we are out here to say to this wicked nation, what? Thus said Yahweh. No, thus says Aaron. Thus said Yahweh. Thus says Watchmen for Israel. Thus said Yahweh. See, we only speak the ordinances of the Most High God according to 1 Peter 4 and 17, uh, 4 and 18, uh, 4 and 11, like, right? We're not going to sit there and speak off of our own understanding like a lot of our pastors do, man, right, in Christianity. Right, Reed? How you doing, King? I'm fine, man. What's your name, family? Cortez. Cortez? Hey, what's your nationality based on your father's son, if you don't mind me asking? Like African American or African and Italian. African Italian. All right. What about his dad, your grandfather? Uh, yeah, he's a, like the Italian uh, Irish. Okay. All right. Well, you gotta look into your heritage, man. Right? Because we are here teaching the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans based on your father's seed that we're God's chosen people, the Israelites, right? So that's something you may want to look into, right? Because if your grandfather, right, is actually Italian, you are who you are for your fathers. So the most High is not dealing with his skin color. It's not about skin color, right? It's about a chosen bloodline, right? So you gotta look into that. Like for instance, Patrick Mahomes, the quarterback, right? He's lighter than all of us, right? But his father, right, is from the tribe of Judah, right? Now Patrick Mahomes married a Caucasian woman, right? Who's known as an Edomite in the Bible. And their son has blonde hair, blue eyes, and Caucasian skin. But guess what? He's an Israelite because it's through the bloodline of your father. So that's something you gotta look into, man. All right? Brother, I appreciate you. All right, brother, all praises, man. Give me some. Because thy heart is lifted up, uh -huh. and thou hast said, I am a God. Right, and that's what our enemies say. Their heart is lifted up. They sit over here and act like that they are gods, man. Right? Oh my goodness, I got the answer, you know what I'm saying, for the pestilence that the Most High is bringing here, you know what I'm saying, about Babylon the Great. Everybody take the Jabba root, right? Matter of fact, go ahead and take another dose of this Jabba root, right? right? Then you got all our people taking the Jabba root, then their knees is giving out, right? Then their back is stiffening up, man. Right? Right. So a lot of our people are dying from this stuff, man, right? Because that's what we're, when we're dealing with our oppressors, the Lord said that their heart is lifted up. They think that they are the Most High God, read. But come on, sit in the seat of God, uh -huh. in the midst of the sea, right? Yet thou art a man. Yet thou art a man. And we gotta warn our people every single day, every single hour, right? To not put your hope here in Babylon the Great. Stop putting your hope in these wicked oppressors, these wicked leaders, man, right? Who are set, right? To literally serve as a punishment upon the children of Israel. So a lot of our people don't understand when Kanye West said that slavery was a choice. See, the thing is, Kanye West doesn't understand the scriptures. You gotta bring the scriptures out to back up your points, right? Because the Lord said that he was gonna put us into slavery on ships, man, 
back when we were crossing that Red Sea for not keeping the commandments, right? And that we will be above all nations if we kept the commandments. But the fact that our forefathers and our foremothers did not keep the commandments, guess what the Most High did? He punished us, man, because we're his children, right? I'm going to punish my son, right? And if he's not listening, I'm going to punish the rest of my kids if they're not listening. Because right. the Most High wants us to come up in a way that he wants us to be, man. And what did he do as a punishment? Sent these other wicked nations to rape, rob, and enslave God's chosen people, man. Right, Read. And, and not God. Uh -huh. Don't thou set thy heart at the heart of God. Right, and they're going to continue to set their heart as the heart of God. The longer that we continue to be blinded as Israelites, man, calling ourselves African American, calling ourselves Cuban, calling ourselves Hispanic, calling ourselves Puerto Rican, calling ourselves Argentina, man, right? calling ourselves Brazilian, right? These are things we gotta realize, man. Read. Verse three. Uh -huh. Behold. How you doing? How you doing, family? Doing good, family. How you doing? I'm all right, brother. Hey, you a so-called black man? If you don't mind me asking. Right, you might be an Israelite, man, right? God shows the people. We love you, man. And love is keeping the commandments. Read. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. And that's what we got to understand, right? The Most High allowed our enemies to be wiser than Daniel. That's right. Right? That's why you can't hide nothing from the Edomites. You cannot hide nothing from the Caucasian race, right? He, hey, you can sit there and scroll on your phone. Right, you can literally, before you get on your phone, be thinking of Kentucky Fried Chicken or Popeye's Chicken, man. Next thing you know, you go on your phone and you got Popeye's Chicken ass popping up, man. Right, you sitting there having a conversation with your wife, having a conversation with your buddy. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about a certain thing. Then the next thing you know, it's popping up on your phone. He's got your location with Google Maps, right? He's got you set up with the social security number and he's got his mark on you because the Most High created him to be wiser than Daniel. But we are understanding in these last days, you're going to see through the scriptures in these times we're living in that he's removing the wisdom out of the mouth of Esau. Man, read. There is no secret that they can hide from me. And there is no secret that you can hide from Esau, man. Right? That's why even when Kyrie, when he just posts a simple post, right, of another a movie called Hebrews and Negroes, right? You can't hide that from the so-called white man, right? He's gonna see that, and he understands how much money our people have. Shalom, shalom, right? We want to give it over to the next part for my speaker, man. Read verse four. With thy wisdom and with thy understanding, thou shalt know the riches. Right. With thy wisdom and with thy understanding, right? The so-called white man has gotten his riches, right? On the left-hand side, though, which is dealing with wickedness, and how do he do this, read? And has gotten gold and silver into thy treasure. Right, and they got all the gold, all the silver, right? They took in everything that belonged to the children of Israel. How did they do that, Read By thy great wisdom and by thy traffic. And by thy what? By thy traffic. traffic. By thy traffic, Read. Has thou increased thy riches. And that's how they increase their riches is by the traffic, right? And who have they been trafficking? The so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We can't make this stuff up, man. And it's not just the so-called white man, right? It's the Chinese man, it's the Japanese man, right? It's the so-called African man, right? It's these, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's these good sites, right? It's these Ethiopians, right? It's all these other wicked nations. And these are things that we gotta realize, man. You can talk that, man. Let me get Psalm 94 and 16, man. Let me get Psalm 94 and 16, right? The book of Psalms 94 and 16, the classic, man. Right? So long. Right? Psalm 94 and 16. You good, okay? Got them crisp pages, man. Right? That's how it works sometimes, right? Right? There you go. There you go. Bring it out. Psalm chapter 94, verse 16. Bring it out. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Right. Who's going to rise up for the Most High Yahweh against these evildoers? Right, against these Edomite security guards that want to come across the line as we get started to tell us to turn this stuff down, right? No, we're gonna stand bold for the most part, man. Right. Because we're not right. out here for our enemies. Right. We're out here for our people. And right. we have a right to be out here for our people when we see the conditions of our people that's been done from the hands of these evildoers, man. Right. Right? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? iniquity. Right. And who's gonna be those mighty brothers? Who's gonna be those mighty sisters? in these last days is gonna stand up against the workers of iniquity, which iniquity is sin, right? Hey, our enemies sit there and say that homosexuality is legal, when the Most High God says that that's an abomination, right? And that all, if you don't say that, uh, Sodom actually end up being destroyed, right? 
by the lake of fire. Real quick, give me Jude. Give me Jude chapter one, verse seven. I'm gonna get a few more. I'm gonna hand it over to the next speaker, man. Right? All praise of the most high. It's uh, at the end, so a yup kind. Give me Jude chapter one, verse seven, man. Right? We gotta realize that the, the times we live in, man. Right? Wickedness is at an all time high. Bring it out. Jude chapter one, verse seven. Bring it out. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah. Right, and this place is known as spiritual Sodom and Gomorrah. Right? And we know what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah, right? It was destroyed with fire and brimstone, man. Read. And the city about them uh -huh. is like matter giving themselves over to fornication. Right, and our people want to follow our enemies, and they start giving themselves over to fornication, man. Right? Fornication dealing with a lot of these wicked ways of Esau, man. Right? How you doing, sister? I'm okay. All friends of the Most High, you're an Israelite, the Bible speaks of. Right? We're out here teaching our people who we truly are. Don't go nowhere, because the next powerful mighty speaker can, is going to edify you in ways I can. Read. And going after strange flesh. What are our people doing? Going after strange flesh. Right, that's what a lot of these other wicked nations are doing, man. Right? When you got an Edomite that comes up to us with a ponytail with a deep ass voice, man. Right? That's strange flesh. Right? Let's just keep it real, man. Right? Read. Or set forth, for example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. And that's what's going to end up being their judgment. The vengeance of eternal fire. You gotta understand that there's no place called hell that's under the ground, man. Right? That's not biblical. Right? Hell is actually here on earth. Right? And you gotta understand that the revelation says that death and hell shall be cast into the lake of fire. So if there really was a place under this earth, why would that have to be cast in the lake of fire, right? If it's already hell. Right? These are things we gotta realize. Hell's gonna be here on earth when these international continental ballistic missiles come down here on America. And Hollywood has given you guys plenty of examples. But our people, they don't want to take these signs that the Most High has given us. Because a lot of our people, we need signs. But then when these signs hit us, we ignore these signs. So we got to come out of wickedness. Revelation 18 and 4, man. Revelation 18 and 4. Right? And I'm going to give it over to the next speaker. Revelation 18 and 4. Bring it out. Right? Let's deal with this thing, man. These are things we got to realize, man. Right? We Bold, man. Right for our people. Bring it out. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. Get out. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, uh -huh. Come out of her, my people. Right. He's saying, Our people, we got to come out of her. So right. How you doing, David? Good to see you, man. Right? We got to come out of the way of America. That's why the great, aka America, is known as that her in Revelation. And the Lord said, Come out of her, my people. Because these other nations, this is their heaven. But us, this is not our resting place. Read. That ye be not partakers of, of her sins. Sin. Uh -huh. That ye receive not of her plague. Right. You don't want to receive of the plague that's coming on Babylon the Great. How you doing, Ken? All praise of the most high, man. Right? So with that, man, matter of fact, we get one more, man. Right? Let me get the book of uh, Revelation chapter 18, verse 21. Bring that out. Give it over to the next speaker, man. All right, let me get Revelation 18 and 21. Let's deal with this thing, man. Bring it out, okay? Revelation chapter 18, verse 21. Bring it out. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea. Say, what do you say? Thus with violence. Oh, thus with her. Thus with violence. To the great city Babylon. Be thrown down. Right, this great city, Black Babylon, right, which is nothing but a land of confusion, the Lord said that this place is going to be thrown down. Read. And shall be found no more at all. That's going to end up being the ultimate judgment for America, man. That's right. So it's very important that we come back to our law, statutes, and commandments in these last days, right? Thus said the Lord, man. Right? And with that, I want to say, Kwame Yashua. Kwame Yashua. Kwame Yashua. Kwame Yashua. Kwame Yashua. Kwame Yashua.